Manager Schiff just said, try to summarize my colleague's defense of the president. He said, not in those words, of course, which is not the first time Mr. Schiff has put words into transcripts that did not exist. It is the president's apparent belief that under Article 2, he can do anything he wants, no matter how corrupt, to present the articles of impeachment with abuse of power, the most serious ever charged against a president. Abuse of power, soliciting a foreign power to help him cheat in the next election. We will prove that he sought to coerce Ukraine. President Trump illegally withheld almost $400 million, conduct that abuses the power of his office for personal benefit, undermines our national security, and invites foreign interference in our democratic process of an election. It is the trifecta of constitutional misconduct justifying impeachment. The president places himself beyond accountability, above the law. Cannot be indicted, cannot be impeached. It makes him a monarch. And what we just heard from Manager Schiff, courts have no role, privileges don't apply. What happened in the past, we should just ignore. In fact, Manager Schiff just said, try to summarize my colleague's defense of the president. He said, not in those words, of course, which is not the first time, Mr. Schiff, has put words into transcripts that did not exist. Mr. Schiff also talked about a trifecta. I'll give you a trifecta. During the proceedings that took place before the Judiciary Committee, the President was denied the right to cross-examine witnesses. The President was denied the right to access evidence. And the President was denied the right to have counsel present at hearings. That's a trifecta, a trifecta that violates the Constitution of the United States. Mr. Schiff did say the courts really don't have a role in this. Executive privilege, why would that matter? It matters because it's based in the Constitution of the United States. One manager said that it is you that are on trial, the Senate. He also said that, and others did, that you're not capable of abiding by your oath. And then we had the invocation of the ghost of the Mueller report. I know something about that report. It came up empty on the issue of collusion with Russia. There was no obstruction. In fact, the Mueller report, to the contrary of what these managers say today, came to the exact opposite conclusions of what they say. Let me quote from the House impeachment report at page 16. Although President Trump has in times invoked the notion of due process, an impeachment trial, an impeachment inquiry is not a criminal trial and should not be confused with it. Believe me, what has taken place in these proceedings is not to be confused with due process. Because due process demands and the Constitution requires that fundamental fairness and due process, we're hearing a lot about due process, due process is designed to protect the person accused. When the Russia investigation failed, it devolved into the Ukraine. A quid pro quo. When that didn't prove out, it was then bribery or maybe extortion. Or somebody said, one of the members or the ma uh, members of the House said treason. But instead, we get two articles of impeachment. Two articles of impeachment that have a vague allegation about a non-crime allegation of abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Members, managers, right here before you today, who have said that executive privilege and constitutional privileges have no place in these proceedings? On June 28, 2012, Attorney General Eric Holder became the first United States Attorney General to be held in both civil and criminal contempt. Why? Because President Obama asserted executive privilege. With respect to the Holder contempt proceedings, Mr. Manager Schiff wrote, 
The White House assertion of privilege is backed by decades of precedent that has recognized the need for the President and his senior advisors to receive candid advice and information from their top aides. Indeed, that's correct. Not because Manager Schiff said it, but because the Constitution requires it. Mr. Manager Nadler said that the effort to hold Eric Holder, Attorney General Holder, in contempt for refusing to comply with various subpoenas was, quote, politically motivated, and Speaker Pelosi called the Holder matter, and I quote, more than, a little more than a witch hunt. What are we dealing with here? Why are we here? Are we here because of a phone call? Or are we here before this great body? Because since the president was sworn into office, there was a desire to see him removed. 